Welcome back to Indian Trace. I had a request come in, uh, and it was a question about serrations and how many points uh, that I find that are serrated in proportion to the rest of my collection. Uh, and now maybe, you know, I, I've only been collecting for five years, but after five years, I realized how rare uh, what we're looking at right here is. And so uh, based on that request, uh, an interest in serrated points, I'm going to show you just what I have. And um, maybe for the 850 display quality pieces I have, uh, this is it for the serrated pieces. Now, this doesn't include the quartz serrated ones, which I have a few, or the sugar quartz serrated ones, which I have a few. Uh, but this is only sort of variated material and some, some different types of flint. Of course, rhyolite as well that I wanted to show you here laid out. But uh, the request was to be able to see the serrated points and up close because as far as I know, this person doesn't really find serrated points. Uh, and so, uh, you know, and I, I don't, I'm not surprised as we go around this because uh, they're rare here. When you first start finding points, you don't know what's rare and what's not, you know. Here's a point from B&B Field. It's a great serrated piece. And uh, so, you know, you just pick it up and you're thankful that you found an artifact and you, you know it's a nice one, but you just don't even have the perspectives. And still, only after five years, I feel like I'm a novice. But now I'm getting an understanding of the perspective of how many you find versus other types of points. And look at this serrated point, also from B&B Field. It's funny, because these people here on Site 5 were making serrated points like this bifurcated one. And although it's a little banged up, it's one of my favorites. Piece of flints. But trying to focus on the serrated and let uh, individuals see those serrations like I was mentioning, the two in the middle. Interesting points found in fairly similar places, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred yards between the two this from the bear and this is from the bear too people like to speculate well maybe the same person made them with how many points they made and how much experience they had in making points I, I doubt it could be as we sail around here here's another point from site 5 being able to focus on the serrations the natural light is perfect I'm probably going to be blown away because we're going to have most of these in point in Site 5, at least as, as far as the beginning goes. And I didn't lay it out that way because this is a point from Site 5. This point here and uh, this point came pretty much from the same area. And they're real rare. I don't find those these two types at all anywhere. It's really heavily ground off that base there. So those two points you just don't find a lot at all. So they're very rare. We're still sticking with Site 5 on this little point here. Mecca. Which I'm already, I'm, I, in the, into this video, I'm already amazed. Uh, I, I just didn't even think about what site they were from. When I see them, I know. However, this site is from Site 2. Hidden Alley. Absolute G10. Site 5E. It is greenish, jadish material from the hawk. Just give it a couple seconds so you can pause if you want up close to take a look at the serrated work and Site 5E right here. The relief on the back, one of the very first serrated points I've ever found at Beaver Point. Probably one of the most recent serrated pieces I found, B&B Field again. You know, when I go there, I don't even expect. Now, thinking about the quartz that I find there, it's often serrated, too. So, I mean, I'm learning something today. I don't know what to think of it all, but I, I see these popping up all from B&B Field in Site 5. Except this one all the way somewhere else, Site 4, the Archaic. Interesting point. This is 
the same site as this one right here, the archaic. Serrations are just, they would be devastating to flesh. Here's a point from site one, fairly recent find in rhyolite. From the easement. It's a point from site five again from the bear. And the last point here, of course, again from site five. So I'm blown away. Most of these are site five. I did not expect that. Learn something every day. Site five puts out serrated points. I'll know that now. A couple from different sites, but the majority, as I've heard just my, my own voice say Site 5 is Site 5, so that's amazing to me. I think that'll do it for you, uh, to give you a look at the serrated that you ask a question about. So uh, for all those who love serrated as well, there'll be another opportunity just to get a little museum tour. I like to see them in sets too, in perspective. Sets of three, sets of four just in contrast, in comparison, just a good look at things. This is probably the biggest serrated that I've found. Never found anything like it. It's a little bit banged up, but uh, when I found it, I knew how rare they were because it was the exact same spot as this one and this one. was this one. Unbelievable. All right. So from Indian Trace to all of you out there, just a really great look at some serrated beauties. And it, I went out today, but it was devastating. Just very quickly. I mean, 27 degrees, wind chills, probably about 23. Uh, it was hurtful. But all in all, all I can wish is that I hope you find out there, moving into the winter, ice and snow, be safe out there. From Indian Trace to all of you, hope you find.